Welcome back everybody, this is Criminal again. We are in part 6, I do believe, of our Cities XL Platinum Edition Let's Play. In the previous video, we talked about how I am not very smart and built a harbor to try and solve my freight problems, and it didn't really fix anything. Um, I thought I did, but apparently I didn't, so we're going to have to try and fix some things here. Executives don't like my city, which is bad considering all of these buildings over here need executives. Um, so I think what I may do is get rid of this area, maybe turn it into holiday, uh, and move my industry back over this way. I think that's my only choice really. I don't, I, I was trying to, I don't, I don't really know what I was trying to do to be honest with my Pollution Island idea, but I think it's time to say bye to Pollution Island. Um, it was a good idea. Um, I don't know. It's costing me money to bulldoze this stuff, are you kidding me? It really is. Hmm. Um, I guess I'm just gonna bulldoze everything except that harbor. Or, yeah, the harbor. Where'd my big guy go? I guess it's not letting me do the big thing. Oh well, I guess we'll have to do it all by hand. It's not going to take very long considering there wasn't very much, and there's not much else we can do about it. Now, I don't know what you guys think I should do. Um, I feel like this is the only solution that we have really considering, like, executives just don't like this area, and this was a bad spot to put the, um, the industry in, so I don't really think that it's a bad idea to be deleting all this stuff. It is costing me a ton of money. Uh, I don't know how I'm losing 26,000, 28,000. Where is that going? What's going on here? Education is really expensive. That's probably why. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and delete you guys. What's going on? No! My city internal consumption is super high. I'm not sure this is salvageable. Uh. Don't yell at me. I ruined Krimmelt Town. This is no good. Maybe we have time to salvage it. I'm going to go ahead and slap in some manufacturing. Um, I'm going to put some square zone. Uh, no, I'm going to do medium density. Oh gosh. This is bad. This is really bad. Heavy industry, square zone. I don't care about the traffic problems that I'm going to create because I am creating them and I know I have no choice. So we got manufacturing, high tech, we need electricity, city services, utilities, electricity, power plant, bam, there we go. Budget deficit has reached 10% of our reserves, that is no good. I'm trying to fix this quickly. Uh, we need manufacturing, we need a lot more manufacturing. Do I even have elites in my city? No, I don't. That's a bad idea. Bam. What else do I need? Maybe I need to... Oh, I'm exporting stuff. I think that's what's killing me. Does that fix anything? Ah, oh, okay. Oh lord, that was scary. So now I guess I'm exporting my own civilians to other towns, which isn't really that bad at the moment, but I guess it could become a problem when I need more of my own people to work in the buildings. Um, yet again, we need more executives. Uh, no workers, number of unskilled workers, zero. I guess I'm going to take back some of my unskilled workers. Alrighty, so now I still have $7,000 coming in a turn, even though that's not that good. I just need to get rid of this stuff. This is, this is just a bad idea. Criminal Town isn't... Uh, I don't know what it is. There's just something about this. This city is just cursed, and I did a pretty poor job planning, so that has 
a lot to do with it, I would say. So it looks like these buildings are starting to come back online. I need some more housing. I just saw a new warning. City Exodus? Citizen Exodus? Every single thing I have is too expensive. Man, this is turning out really poorly. High tech is much too expensive. Increased production. Alright, we can handle some high tech. Except I don't have elites, so... We won't worry about the super high density. Traffic is totally blocked. I bet it is. I bet traffic is totally blocked. Yeah, check that out. Blood red. Got no choice, though. Um, I guess I could... See, I don't know. I'm in a really tough spot now. We've started to make our money back, um, but it looks like people don't even want to move in. Has a bad reputation among skilled workers, has a bad reputation among elites. I guess the unskilled workers don't really care. But nobody wants to move in. This is no good. I wonder how I can fix my problems. Maybe by creating jobs. I have an electrical power plant right there and they're telling me that it's too expensive. I guess I'm just going to have to create some windmills. I don't really understand how windmills create uh, noise pollution. It's an interesting thing. Well, I guess for now, this is about the extent of what we're going to be able to do. Managed to trade 10 tokens. That's cool. Um, that's pretty much the extent of what we're going to do. Somehow my harbor is at 100% capacity. Oh gosh, I really don't understand that. Um, I guess I'm back in the positive as far as money goes, but I'm still in the negative regarding people coming into my city. I have available jobs, but nobody wants to move in. Um, I think, maybe I wasn't looking, but it doesn't look like this house was there before. Some, some stuff is starting to pop up. I think it's told me that my reputation among skilled workers has gone away, or has improved a little bit. Um, we're gaining 87 people a turn now, so that's pretty good. I guess things are improving, so thank you guys for the suggestions on staying with the with this current city. I would have given up, I know. And also, someone told me that I can change the interior road size. I did not know that. That's really cool. Huh. So what does that mean exactly? Expressway? Oh lord, I don't want that. Small avenue, no. Large avenue. Huh, okay, cool. So that's something that I didn't know about before. You can change the road size uh, to what you like need it to be. So if we have a bunch of high rises, which we're about to have, it's telling me that I can create a large avenue to put it on, which will prove very useful considering that the traffic is going to be much, much greater than it would be normally. So let's test that out. Um, where do we want to put this? I guess I'm going to expand out this way a little bit, rather than expanding up further. And then these are going to be some high density homes. So we'll see what happens with these people, because they're unskilled. They're probably not going to get angry over some of the stuff that the elites and executives are getting angry over. Why did that road not finish? I guess they're still connected, so it's not that big of a deal. But even these guys, they're kind of getting mad over the levels of security and like every service that I provide. So that's no good. We're still struggling with, uh, I guess heavy and manufacturing is pretty good, but we still we need some high tech. I want to put some more high tech in here. I guess I gotta suck it up and get some elites in my city. Um, we'll put this over here. Alrighty, gotta put in some elite housing. I don't think I have any. They can come live near the unskilled. We need executives. But check it out, now our profits are back up 30,000 a turn. That's pretty high. Um, that's really good. Especially considering I think I still have that loan out. Oh no, cool, the loan is gone. That's That's very good, I'm happy to see that because now it's all pure profit. I'm not having to pay $20,000 a turn. 
Um, and, not to mention we have 525 people coming in a turn. Still have some major problems in Kremlin Town, but I think we've solved most of them. We still need some industry, but I, I can handle that. So, if you guys like the videos, please comment and subscribe. But, we'll see you guys soon.